Hello you guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to the scrap room layout design team flavors of the month kit however you want to say it whatever you are I am working with the flavors of the month kit this month um, I am on the designers for the scrap room for the flavors of the month kit each month you can subscribe or you can do one-offs so you don't have to have a uh, you can always skip as well um, but you can subscribe and get flavors of the month kit every month where you get four different mini collections which is amazing. And every collection, any every mini collection will come with two pieces of cardstock, three pieces of pattern paper, and some embellishments. There's also add-ons like double shot embellishment add-ons and paper add-ons. There's so many fun things. I'm playing with just the main kit um, first and then I will add in all the add-ons after that. Um, but today I'm gonna show you Echo Park. Uh, snowed in collection. I love this collection. It's very snowy in Minnesota all the time and actually I feel like way more earlier this year than it has ever been before. Um, so I've got uh, just one sledding photo from 2018. Apparently that's all I took that day but I figured it'll work out great for me. So we're going to document this but let me show you what comes in this Echo Park snowed in kit. Um, you get two pieces of white card stock or two sheets I should say to beautiful white cardstock. And then you get some pattern papers. The first one is called, this one I have, is the four x four journaling card. I love this side, but this side is also gorgeous. This is what kind of sparked my idea to do my layout today. I think we're gonna do a classic grid. But so I will be cutting that out for sure. Um, this gorgeous paper, I love this one as well, is called Snowflake Bundles. It's this beautiful plaid on this side. And then the gorgeous snowflake flowers on the other side. And then a gorgeous wood grain. This one's kind of fun. It's kind of cartoony, but I like it. This is Frosted Flurry. So this beautiful wood grain. I'm a huge wood grid fan. If you've ever watched my channel, you know that. I am obsessed with wood grain. And then the gorgeous snowflakes on the other side, which match that card that I want to cut out. So we are going to do classic grid. I haven't decided which uh, papers are going to do what in the role of the grid, but we will do a classic grid. And then my photo, but then let's see what we got for embellishments. Now these are going to vary per kit. So you might not get the same things I do, but you're going to get something similar, um, but you might just get little different bits and pieces. You get one row of enamel dots. And so how, you know, Echo Park that you, when, when you buy the whole collection, you get different colors and a whole row. So you'll get a different color than me, or you'll get the same. And we might not get the same combination of anything either. That's the fun thing about this is you get a nice sampling of the collection without having to bust out and buy the whole thing. And then you have so much product you don't want to do with. I love this. I love these kits. This is my, this is what I started scrapbooking with way back in the day. I have some kits back from 2011, 2010. Um, and that's when I really started getting into scrapbooking more. I had been scrapbooking way longer than that, but this was my first kit club I ever had. So being on this design team is a blessing. Um, but I got some ephemera pieces and like I said, these are all going to, um, you get a third pack and so it's going to vary what third of, pa of the pack you get. I got a lot of like little banner or like tag title type things. So I just want to get snowed in with you. That one's perfect. I thought about doing that for my title as well. Uh, let's stay in, stay warm, hand, cold hands, warm heart. I get told that a lot, or used to at least in my profession. Uh, welcome winter, feeling frosty. This one just says snow. This one says hello winter, and then just some middens. So that's a lot of good stuff. So we're gonna do a grid. Let me get my photo cut down, get that card cut out, and kind of figure out what else I wanna play with for my grid. And we'll go from there. Hey guys, so I've cut I've trimmed out two, well, three squares. So I just took the very like bottom row, essentially, of this four by four. I matted my photo on one, I think that this said warm wishes or stay warm or something like that. This one's gonna be my title. This one is just the back side of this snow much fun. So I did that. I grabbed my snowflake stencil because I can't have a white background. Nope. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do something with that. We are going to trim this down and make, a thi I think, a thick border. And I'm kind of thinking, I'm thinking about having this as my border. We'll gut it. Well, first here, let's 
I knew it would help it was if, if I trimmed this one down yet, because I haven't even trimmed this down yet. And I want thick, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go an inch. And I actually, I think I want it thicker. I think I'm gonna take an inch off of each side. And then do, the question is, do I still, it should still have room for my grid. Yeah, if we take, yep. As the thick border. And then this as my title. They'll really tie together. I just don't know. Or maybe I don't cut out another square and I just do this. It's still kind of a grid. Um, yeah, change of plans. All right, I decided I wanted to do some white on white texture. So I'm just taking some texture paste and putting it through the stencil. So we're just... I'm gonna, I was going to do it just part of it, but you know what? We're going to do the whole stinking thing. Looks like it. Okay. I'm going to clean up. I happen to also have these Color Cast Designs snowflakes that I just got, and they match this collection perfectly, so I can't not use them. Um, so I'll probably be using them. So sorry, you don't get those there from my stash but yeah all right you guys I've got my texture paste is dry you can see that got my photos all popped up on foam and glued down I've got it glued around the border that I wanted now we get to put on the pretty stuff so these are all acrylic pieces uh, from my stash I just got them from color cast design so sorry they do not come with the kit but I think if you die cut um, any snowflakes, you could recreate this or any other shape. I think there's a lot of ways you could recreate this without the acrylic pieces. It'd be super fun. You could even fussy cut um, florals or snowflakes out of the embellishments or the pattern paper. Or if you get the embellishment kit, which I have, I come in the embellishment kit. Uh, for this collection, this is what you get. You get extra embellishments. So you could just use a bunch of the stickers instead. Oh, I love that. I love the way that looks. I like this resting space too. Um, so I just wrote the date on this tiny little label that I had. And then I think it needs a little more something. So we're gonna do uh, some splatters. I thought about inking in the background and like blurring and stuff, but I'm like, no, I really, yeah, I really like this. It may seem bottom heavy in a way. I don't know, like I feel like we're missing something like right up here, just like a tab. Simple solution, go look back in what you have and see what you have to use. So this just says snow. That might be a little redundant. I thought about doing stay warm and just putting that. Welcome winter. But then when I have something big like that, it feels like it's disjointed from there, doesn't it, a little bit? Or can I just tuck this in and you can't even see the welcome winter? Yes, that's what I needed. And now we're going to do some splatters. I have some shimmers. Uh, it's, I think, I don't think there's any sparkle to it. It's a hoi matey. It's a really deep blue. It's pretty much navy. Yes, flat, so no shimmer. So, don't need to mix it up too much because there's no shimmer. But I just want, there. And they spread out a little, they didn't stay nice, you know, they're absorbing, so it's fine. I like that, perfect. Well, there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go check out 
the Facebook group for all the challenges that are happening in the group. And check out the other um, design team videos over on the Scrap Room uh, Facebook group and, or YouTube channel. And also, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.